morning guys, Jeff with HKS Systems Lock and Safe. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be going and taking on a Herring Hall Marvin vault door. Really cool. So what am I taking? Well, I'm taking, of course, drill bits. Um, this old guy, I don't want to try to manipulate. It's actually a sort of a bad area of town, so I don't want to be there very long. Get there early, get out even earlier. Um, so if everything goes right, which it should, we're going to just be using that little tiny guy right there, which if you don't know, that's an eighth inch. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, eighth inch bit. Shouldn't need anything more than that. Uh, properly placed hole is all it's going to take. If not, I've got the 3 16 I'm sure that's the only highest I'd have to go. I'm going to take more just in case because I don't want to go back. It's about an hour drive from me. So I've um, got a quarter inch and 5 16 but I will definitely not need those things unless there's an issue with the vault. The vault hasn't been opened in 30 years, so no one knows. Um, but what happens after you drill it? Well, I never really discussed that. That's sort of an art by itself, too. There's definitely refinishers for that. That is not me, um, but I could get it, so you cannot tell that I was there. Um, this is my repair kit, so let's open it up and see what we got. Um, first thing, after we're done drilling, we're going to need to plug the hole. So the hole is going to be plugged with either epoxy steel stick or, if it needs a little more security, Carbonex, which is really the same stuff. It's just they put carbon chips, carbide chips in there, so if you try to re-drill through the same hole, It'll dull your bits. Uh, after a while, you'll probably give up. Um, then it depends on how high of security you want. I always drill it and replace it and repair it to at least equal to, if not better, than what the drill resistance was before I got there. So um, sometimes I'll just do carbide. Other times I will put a ball bearing in there, maybe a ball bearing or two, depending on how devious I want to be. Um, these are just different size ball bearings. Put a little epoxy in, ball bearing, a little epoxy, ball bearing. Um, these are taper pins, so if you need to do that, they are basically tapered. You jam them in there, smash them in there with a hammer or mallet, cut them off, grind them, fill them, and repaint. Um, these are just the same things, just different diameters. Uh, ball bearings again. And then the art of it all is colors. Um, so gold marker, bronze marker, brass marker. Uh, chrome marker, aluminum marker, uh, black. I also have flat black marker, which is in the other kit right now. I'm just doing that. Uh, Hunter's green, which was actually a very common thing back in the 30s for a lot of the safes. A dark Hunter's green, like olive, olive drab. And uh, what else we got? We got uh, some flat black, as I said. Um, that's about it. There's really, uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, there's tan parchment, it's called. It's like a tan. Um, I got that in the other kit, too. I just don't use that very often. So I, even if I have to bring it, I always just have it with me. I could just go and get a color match of it. It's actually right over there. Um, so it's not, not super common. But uh, if I need that, I got that. I know, obviously, I don't just stop in the middle of the day to go drill a safe. I always plan these things out. If you don't plan them out, you plan to fail. So... Um, we're going to go do that. I'll see if I can get some video for you, or at least some pictures, and uh, show you before and after. And like I said, it should be an eighth inch drill bit, and uh, a little bit of scoping time. Then I should get the hell out of there before all the uh, bad folks wake up and start to try to rob everybody and shoot everybody. So, we'll be back. Thanks. All right, guys, so I'm way out in the sticks here of Rockford. Uh, I got a beautiful Herring Hall Marvin. Uh, we're going to pop that guy open, decode it, and make some uh, combinations for it. A uh, beautiful safe. Nice. So we'll be back. Look at this beautiful scenery, though. If you're a city person, me, I'm not a city person. Just as soon sit in the sticks. All right, guys, so I got this guy open. Well, I should say I should have it open. Uh, all I got to do is park it on the last number, and that dial should allow me to throw that in. Let's see if I'm good or not. Oh, sweet. 
So if you don't know, this is a, probably a 1920s or 30s Harry Hall Marvin safe. Um, this is actually for the old newspaper in the area. So, um, pretty cool thing. Has a day lock system, so you can leave that unlocked. People could come and go, and you would lock that door shut with that handle. Pretty barbaric, but very simple. Uh, you can see a little bit of rust, but not that bad. We're actually right, literally on the river right there, so it's not too bad. It's also in the uh, tower, was what they call it, which is the third or fourth floor up here, or something like that. It's pretty high up here. Um, I'll show you pictures when I leave. I'm gonna take a little video of it. But uh, I think that's going to be it. So that guy's open. I'm going to uh, make up some cards, repair the hole, which you can't even see because I know you can't see it. But uh, it's so tiny you'll never see it. Um, I'm just going to put a dab of touch-up paint on there. It was done with an eighth-inch hole. So not a biggie. We will be back, and you guys have a great day. All right, dudes. So we got that vault door all done. Uh, this is where it's at. It's the old publisher for the newspaper in Rockford. It's hard to see so many trees in there. But, uh, yeah, this is right on the river. The river is literally right there. Um, and I was all the way on the top. Obviously not all the way up to the belfry, but on that top floor. All the way up there. Yeah, so that was the looking out. Had to drive like the world, ride the world's oldest elevator up there. I was fearing that thing was going to plummet to the bottom of the shaft and kill me. But uh, anyways, we are all set. Cool old building, beautiful old stuff in there. Um, really nice customer, and we opened it up. He couldn't even figure out how I got it open. I showed him, said, find out where I drilled it. Took him three or four times. He's, he never got it. I had to finally show him, and he was like, I can't even see that. So... Once again, it's all about precision work and equipment. Um, I was able to use the mag rig for that. Worked really well. One eighth inch hole, perfectly placed. Scoped it open. I was in and out. Uh, I got there about 8.30. It's now 10 o'clock, and that was probably a good half hour of fiddle fucking around. Um, moving my stuff in and out of the building because you have to come in all the way over here, go through a whole maze, bunch of old offices get into elevator shafts go all the way to the top but either way we got it done really good customer really nice guy hopefully he does well in business and uh that was it for the day so we're uh heading back to our area of the woods which is 43 miles away from here i usually don't do them that far but a he was a nice guy b i gave him a good deal and everybody loves a good deal so if you need service for safes and vaults give me the holler HKS Systems, lock and safe, 847-204-7046. Thanks, guys.